Another common comment I kept getting was that there are two solutions to the following problem. Infinity multiplied by m equals m. The solution I presented was the mass is equal to zero. However, I kept getting told that there is a second solution to the problem. That second solution, they said, is infinity. But first of all, let's see how I got the idea that m equals zero in the first place. First, we subtract m from both sides of the equation. Then, we factorize m. Finally, we divide through by infinity minus one. This can be split into zero multiplied by one over infinity minus one. Finally, zero is defined such that zero times x equals zero for all x, including x equals one over infinity minus one. So why couldn't infinity be a solution? Well, for starters, we need to remember that infinity isn't a number, but a concept. Infinity isn't the largest number there is. Infinity is defined as an unbounded quantity greater than every real number. Now, the second thing to remember when dealing with infinity is there are different kinds of infinity. For example, the set of all integers is infinite, but the set of all fractions is infinitely larger than the set of all integers. So if we go back to our original problem, infinity times m equals m. If we sub in m equals infinity, then we get infinity times infinity equals infinity, or rather infinity squared equals infinity. Now the infinity on the left is indeed also infinity, but it's an infinitely larger infinity than the infinity on the right. Just like how the set of all fractions is infinitely larger than the set of all integers. The final thing to remember is that since infinity isn't a number, it technically doesn't make any sense to write infinity times by m. Technically, since infinity is just a concept, it should be the limit from x to infinity of xm equals m, or the sum of all m from x equals 1 to infinity equals m. The reason I use infinity times by m was because it's something everyone can understand, rather than a select few people who are advanced in math. Hopefully this video cleared up some problems, and as always, thanks for watching.